Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to talk about orthogonal and orthonormal vectors. And finally, I would say, it depends on your background and such, but probably it's up to this point, you probably have at least been exposed to most of the concepts in other classes that we've covered up to this point. Here I think we're going to get to something that you may have seen, but you may not have seen. So we're going to kind of chart new ground a little bit. Um, the first thing I want to do is recall, or have you recall, that the vector a, when we dot it in to the vector b, uh, you can write it a couple of different ways, but one way to write it is the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between. So these are multiplications in between there, right? And just to give you a picture, we've done this before a couple times, but here is vector b, here is vector a, like this, and this is the angle uh, between them. And so when we take a, b, cosine theta, we're taking the a vector, we're projecting it in the direction of b, and then we're multiplying that length, that projected length, times b. That's what this concept of a dot product is really doing. But we can rearrange that. This is an equation, like any other equation. And we can rearrange it. Uh, so if we rearrange it to solve for cosine of theta, then what we're going to get is a dot b. And we can divide by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. All right. So what this is telling us is that if you would like to calculate the angle between two vectors, then all you have to do is take their dot product. That'll give you a number in the numerator. And then you find the magnitude of a and the magnitude of b separately, multiply them together, and then take the division, and, and you got it. So this is giving you the angle between any two vectors. Right? So this is important. This is a very useful thing because many times you will be given vector A, vector B, and you want to know what's the angle between them. Is it 30 degrees? Is it 40 degrees? Is it 67 degrees? Whatever. So in that case, you find the dot product, you find the magnitude of the individual vectors, follow that formula, and then you can uh, calculate the angle between uh, these two vectors, A and B. So hang on to this because we're going to do a problem in, in a few minutes that's going to use that. Now the second thing I want to talk about is the concept of uh, orthogonal vectors. Believe me, it has a very complicated sounding name, just like lots of things in higher math, but really they're very easy to understand. Orthogonal basically just means 90 degrees between the vectors. So the vectors are perpendicular to one another. That's what 90 degree angle is, right? It's perpendicular. So orthogonal vectors, I'll just say here, is 90 degrees between vectors. That's the concept of orthogonality. You could replace this word with perpendicular, or 90 degrees, and then it would basically be the same thing. So if I wanted to draw a picture of that, if I had vector b, and if I drew vector a exactly like this, with a 90 degree angle there, these two vectors a and b, notice they have different lengths. a and b are different lengths, but they're orthogonal to one another because they're 90 degrees. They're perpendicular to one another. So sometimes, um, you may be given two vectors and the question might say, are these vectors orthogonal? Are these vectors orthogonal to one another? It just means, are these vectors perpendicular to one another? That's what it, what it basically means. How would you figure that out? I mean, if I drew it, you might be able to figure it out, but what if I don't draw it? What if I just give you the vectors and I give you the components, the i, j, k components of the vectors? How would you figure out if they're orthogonal? Well, what you could do is use what we just figured out up here. We could calculate the angle between vector a and b and if we get 90 degrees, then we can say that they're orthogonal to one another. So, for instance, if 